Have you ever been in a relationship and sensed that something wasn't quite right? Like no matter how much effort you put in, things just didn't align with your desires? Well, at times, it could be because God has a different plan for you. And sometimes, He will employ various methods to indicate that you're making the wrong choice, even if you're not attentive. So, if you've ever questioned whether your relationship was destined to be, stay tuned till the end to discover. But before that, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Here are seven ways through which God will communicate that you shouldn't be with someone. Number one, a lack of inner peace. If you feel a sense of unease or discomfort about a relationship, it could be a sign that God is not leading you in that direction. Whenever God approves of someone, one of his primary ways of confirming to you is through a sense of internal peace. Both you and the other person will have a sense of calmness in your spirit. This is a sign that he has everything under his control. But if there is an underlying sense of restlessness every time you try to move forward, God might be telling you to reevaluate your steps again. This doesn't mean God doesn't love the other person. He might just be protecting you from what you cannot see. The Bible has a lot to say about peace. In Philippians 4.67, Paul writes, Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This means no matter how spiritual you are, it is important to listen to those inner promptings and pay attention to any red flags that might be waving, even if the other person forces you to move forward. It is important not to make that move unless God has prompted you to the devil can be deceptive. He could manipulate you into a relationship that appears to be God's will, whereas it's clearly not. He might make everything look just like the will of God. This is why you should be spirit-led instead of feelings lead. It's worth also noting that a lack of peace doesn't necessarily mean that the relationship is a complete non-starter. It could be that there are some issues that need to be addressed or that God is trying to convey a particular message to you. But if you're feeling a sense of unease that persists over time, it might be worth seeking counsel from the Spirit of God. Number two, resistance. When God doesn't want you to be with someone, he will sometimes give you signs by causing resistance in your relationship. Resistance can come in many shapes and forms, such as unexpected changes in plans. Subtle disruptions are better. Still, you might feel like you're moving forward with a relationship, but suddenly there's a delay or a setback that you can't explain. It's important to pay attention to the signs because they might be God's way of trying to get your attention. It doesn't mean that he's against you or that he's trying to make things difficult. Rather, he might be trying to lead you in a different direction. In most cases, it can be tempting to try to push through the resistance and make things happen on your own terms. But in every case, it's better to listen to what God is saying and follow his lead. This might mean taking a step back and reassessing where things are at. Or it might mean being open to the possibility that God has something different in mind for you. We must not confuse these resistances with attacks from the devil as they are entirely different. The resistance which comes from the devil is intended to bring confusion and delay, whereas the resistance which comes from God is to protect you and give you time to think again. If you feel God is asking you to hold on, never try to force your way or speed things up. It is better to be slow and sure than to be fast and fall. If God resists you from committing to someone, you should accept that and take it gracefully. Number three, red flags. If you're noticing red flags or warning signs in the relationship, such as disrespect, abuse, or other unhealthy behaviors, it could be a sign that God is not leading you to pursue a relationship with that person. In Ephesians 5.25, it says, Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. If the person you're interested in is not treating you with love, respect, and care, it may be a sign that God is not leading you to pursue a relationship with that person. The truth is, most times we tend to trust our abilities rather than trusting God's abilities. 
we think we are powerful enough to change people after marriage. Changes aren't a guarantee. You can never be sure the person you are seeing red flags and will suddenly change after marriage. You can't change someone who isn't willing to change. Only God has the power to change someone. If before you were married, you can obviously see many signs that indicate that person will be worse. Never make the mistake of thinking you will do change them. If your partner has been a serial cheater before proposing to you, he must show evidence that he has changed. Don't make the mistake of thinking will change just because he is married to you. Marriage doesn't change people, it only reinforces what is already in existence. If both parties are on the wrong foundation, they should be prepared to continue to live with the results that come after. This doesn't mean we shouldn't give people a chance, but it means we should take precautions to know what we are walking into. Whoever you are getting married to must agree to be willing to let go of their bad behavior before you tie the knot. Otherwise, you might spend a great deal of your marriage praying for healing rather than enjoying the blessings of God. Jesus said a good tree cannot bear evil fruit. Neither can an evil tree bear good fruits. If he has been beating you before marriage, you should be prepared to continue to be treated in a similar manner. If you ignore the red flag saying love is blind, then indeed marriage will open your eyes. Number four, you lose your identity. When it comes to relationships, the wrong kind can totally transform who you are in ways you never would have imagined. When a person falls into a relationship that is not meant to be, it may start subtly changing their entire being. An angel can become a devil, a spark of joy can become a raging fire and coolness can become a boiling point. A relationship from God is one designed to bring out the best in you. It will give you the freedom to rediscover your true self and discover your mission and purpose on earth. But when a relationship begins to make you lose your original identity, that can be a clear sign that it doesn't come from God. Take a moment to think about someone you knew who has changed drastically over time. Because of the people they surrounded themselves with what was once a calm and peaceful person had become resentful or irritable in the blink of an eye. If you find yourself becoming more bitter, more irritable, or doing things that aren't your true self, then those may be warning signs that the relationship is slowly making you lose your real identity. Suddenly, it can feel like you're a world away from the person you used to be. And it's only when we take a step back that we realize the truth. It might take strength and courage to let go of something that is toxic and damaging. But don't worry. God will never deprive you of something that is genuinely good for you, whether it's emotionally or spiritually. Don't be afraid to distinguish between what is good for you and what isn't. Taking that bold step may be what you need to do to get back on track. Number five, lack of the fear of God. The absence of fear of God is something that should be taken very seriously in any relationship. The fear of God is not just a matter of faith or spirituality. It is the manifestation of a deep respect and honor for the supreme creator of the universe. Without such reverence, the partner in the relationship with carry no restraint. That is no one to call them to order when necessary. A holy fear of God is what sets the perfect foundation for any relationship, be it between family, friends, or couples without respect for the divine and all for God's majesty. How can any human relationship possibly stand without a God to hold us accountable? How will we ever learn self-restraint? When someone outrightly tells you that they don't fear God, you must take note and proceed with caution. Lacking respect for a higher power translates to a lack of respect for those around them, including you. And being with such a partner is a risk not worth taking. Our love and fear of God gives life to the ability to honor our spouses in any and all circumstances, both behind closed doors and in public arenas. Moving forward in a relationship without the fear of God can only lead to chaos, lawlessness, and instability. Number 6. Lack of compatibility. If the person to whom you find yourself drawn to does not share your belief systems, values, or overarching vision for the future, it is likely a sign from the Lord that you should be careful. As written in Amos 3, 3 can two walk together except they agree. When two people have fundamentally incompatible outlooks on life, it can often lead to confusion, disagreements, and a lack of peace. 
This isn't to suggest that couples should share every opinion or prioritize overlapping areas of interest. Yet when true incompatibility exists, it's time to consider stepping away to follow the Lord's will and find true joy and companionship. It's important to seek out someone whose passions, visions, and beliefs align with yours, even if it takes some effort on your part. To do this, pray for discernment, for insight, humility, and for guidance to seek out the perfect partner God has in mind for you. The Lord is ultimately looking for an environment in which harmony is found by two individuals as he cannot abide in confusion. That being said, it is possible for a relationship to still be founded on solid principles within varying perspectives. But if there are deeper fundamental incompatibilities between two people, from beliefs, aspirations, perspectives, and so forth, it might be best to thank the Lord for the signs that point out their true intentions and part ways in respect and love. Number 7. Through dreams and visions, God can in many ways directly warn you not to be involved in a relationship if he sees that it could potentially harm you. In moments of our greatest desires, he can take us by surprise with a gentle caution of what is not meant to be. We know this well from the story of Abba Much and Abraham in Genesis 20. Though this king was determined to take what he wanted, God appeared to him directly and warned him that Sarah, the wife of Abraham was not his to take through the form of dreams or visions. God could potentially interfere in a relationship that has no promising future should he see the potential for harm. It is important to note that even though God might tell us not to proceed with a relationship, God in his infinite mercy does give every man a choice in the form of a free will. He always leaves it up to us to make our own decisions. He will never force us into something we do not want to do neither will he stop you. If you've made up your mind to do what you want to do, yet his wisdom remains should we choose to follow his instruction and take heed of his advice, though we are ultimately responsible for the choices we make. God's effort to caution us beforehand ensures that we have all the available information when making such an important decision. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you love our videos, please feel free to subscribe to our channel.